Jabu. Yo, what is up, Warriors? What a beautiful day. So, uh, listen, hey, I'm going to do a video on Lou. I'm not going to bash him. I got to call him out. Got to call him out to put an end to some of the BS that's going around YouTube right now. Before I do, that is not a Christmas tree. I got I to gotta give props to the wife. This is no longer a St. Paddy's Day tree. This is now an Easter tree. Damn right. Look at the carrots. You got the evil rabbit heads. You got pictures of the rabbits. You got a little bit of spring right here. Look at the spring. You know she goes all out, man. She is super creative. Look at that. Carrots, eggs. Look at the Easter egg. Yep. Wife goes all out, man, for the holidays. She don't quit. And so the last time I put her tree in a shot and said it wasn't a Christmas tree, somebody called me out on this guy right here. He's like, okay, what about the nutcracker that's sitting right in the center of the room? So the reason we never put the nutcracker up is because he wears my current medal for the year that I would have won in powerlifting. And so what I'm going to do in May is that medal comes off, the new medal goes on. That is my motivation to not quit and to no matter what, keep freaking going. And that right there, look at that. That's gold, baby. We have never won bronze. We don't win silver. And I hope I keep that tradition going. I have one coming up in May. I'm hurting really bad. The body is in a lot of pain, but I'm still doing the meat. I'm still going after gold. We'll see what happens, man. But that's why this guy stays, he stays out year-round. He sports my current medal. This is what I got to say. First of all, all you dudes that intro your videos that this is not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, yada, yada, yada. You don't have to do that. Put it down in the description that if that's what you want to, you know, get across to your viewers, put it in the description. You don't have to open every single video with that. But also... Realize this. Do you know how hard it is to piece together somebody investing in a stock and blaming it on you because they watched your video? And then you have to get a judge to agree to that nonsense because they watched a YouTube video. Come on! Ain't nobody suing anybody over any of this shit. Let me, now that I got that out of the way, that kind of coincides with what I'm about to say about Lou. So let's go back maybe five months ago on my YouTube channel. When I would mention Lou, and I would do a good video on Lou, whatever. I, if, even if I did a bad, you know, I, I dissed him for whatever reason. People in my, um, comp, you know, they'd be commenting. And everybody comments, yeah, hey, yeah, Lou's the man. Lou, Lou, Lou. Lou's the boss. Lou's the best. Now, even when I don't do a video on Lou, I just do a random AMC video. People bash Lou in the comment box. So now it's, I'm, I'm seeing... One out of five will stick up for him. Four to five are bashing him. So the, something's turned in Lou, and I, I know what it is. Lou is so freaking wishy-washy, I can't follow him anymore. Most people can't follow the roller coaster ride that he's on, so it just doesn't look good. Okay, on, on Monday, it's like, oh, we're, we're going to squeeze on Wednesday. Then on Tuesday, we're never going to squeeze. Then on Wednesday, oh, we didn't squeeze, so we're going to squeeze, you know, next Monday. And it's a, oh, no, we're not going to squeeze. Be prepared for nothing. And, okay, now listen. I know I'm, I'm wishy-washy, but I'm not back and forth. I prepare everybody for the worst because I have been told the worst is most likely what's going to happen. But my money is still in. Here's the, this is what I'm getting at. Yeah, what up, Steve? Um, you know how many times I've showed my position? Lou, show your position. Because right now, folks, apes, whatever you want to call them, AMC investors, are losing trust and faith in you and your videos. They think you are actually on the wrong side and you don't even hold any AMC stock. I don't understand why people will not show their positions. Okay, listen, brother, I got felonies, been on parole, probation, the whole freaking night. I probably got more felonies than you do. I can guarantee you that. I hit three felonies in three years. I had one felony per year because all the bullshit I got caught up in with the, Ch the Chippendales. Um, parole, all that shit. What do you fear? What do you fear? Come on, man. I've, you know how many times I've showed my position and what do you think is going to happen when you show? People are like, oh, okay, cool. And then they forget about it. Nobody hits me up for money. No trouble with the IRS. No trouble with this. If you're doing everything on the up and up, 
What the hell is the freaking problem? Sh- just show it and shut everybody up. What's your position? How many shares you got? There's no reason. If Lou, if you got them, show them. Because right now, a ton of people are dissing you and doubting you, saying you are not an AMCA. So why don't you just shut them up like I did? A lot of people fucking called me out, and I just show them. This, look, dude, you call me out right in the midst of the freaking storming the cockpit, I buy another 60000 When people call me out, I shut them up. Bro, they're calling you out, but you ain't shutting them up, and there's no reason for you to not just shut them up. There it is. That's that's what this video is. It's to Lou, brother, from New York to New York. Show your fucking position and get it over with. Shut everybody up. All right, everybody. Y'all have an awesome afternoon. I'm doing another CEI video in a minute. Shaboom. Peace.